Unitree just unveiled its R1 humanoid robot, the newest and most affordable humanoid robot it's ever made, starting at just $5,900. We're gonna break down everything we know, some important things we don't know yet, and brainstorm some ideas for what you could do with a robot like the R1. The R1's intro video features the robot doing cartwheels, showing off the range of motion across the 26 joints spread out among its hands, arms, and legs. The R1 weighs 55 pounds. That's roughly 22 pounds less than the Unitree G1, and more than 100 pounds less than Unitree's H12. The robot is also featured in its intro video doing handstands, a favorite party trick that Unitree's go-to pro robot dog I tested out a few months ago comes pre-programmed to do at the press of a button. Looking like a Power Ranger in its debut video, the R1 also shows off some fighting moves like its pricier sibling, the Unitree G1. Perhaps we'll see this robot competing in the lightweight competitions at the upcoming World Humanoid Robot Games that are set to be hosted in China in the next few weeks. Subscribe now so you don't miss our coverage of that. So what is a humanoid like the R1 realistically for? Well, if you're a developer or part of an institution that works with robots, the EDU model could be useful for working on pushing forward new applications and capabilities for humanoid robots. If you're more of a regular Joe or Jane who just wants a robot to call your own, Unitree says the R1's appearance is customizable, so I could foresee some marketing use cases in which the R1 gets decked out with a company's brand colors and walks around doing some marketing. Of course, the biggest news about the R1 is that amazingly low price. Unitree's billing this robot as starting at just $5,900, which is by far the most affordable humanoid robot I've ever seen at this size. However, as we learned with the Unitree G1 robot, these low prices advertised by Unitree may just be the starting price for the Chinese market. With the G1, for example, buyers in the USA and elsewhere have to pay extra and buy through authorized resellers. We'll have to wait and see for sure if that's the case with the R1. Unitree currently lists two R1 models on its website the standard model, and the EDU model. EDU signifies Unitree's top-of-the-line robots with all the bells and whistles. These pricier bots are aimed at institutional buyers and developers who hope to use the robots as a research platform, and so they include extra features as well as the ability to learn new skills. They are also sometimes shown in Unitree's demos, like the G1 EDUs that slugged it out in the company's humanoid robot boxing tournament. The standard, or base model, are Unitree's most pared down affordable version of their robots. In the R1's case, the standard model has less mobility in some of its joints, particularly the neck, and according to the website, does not include hands. Unitree sometimes offers a pro model in between the standard and EDU model, like with their go-to pro robot dog I got to try out, but at least right now, that doesn't seem to be the case for the R1. The EDU for the R1 has no price listed yet, but Unitree invites interested parties to contact them directly for more information. What would you do with an R1 of your own? Are you excited about humanoid robots getting more affordable, or are you beyond terrified? Let us know down in the comments. And subscribe to CNET for the latest and greatest robot news. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Earl. See you next time with the fam.